dear students in this section we are going to discuss one very important concept of the mechanics that is conservation of linear momentum for system of particles in this illustration it is given a railroad car of mass capital m is at rest on a frictionless track with the mass of man small m standing at its edge in this diagram you can observe the mass of this rail road car which can move on the track without friction and this man is standing at the edge of the right side as and this man is having mass is small m if the man jumps up from the car toward right with an initial velocity u with respect to car find the velocity of the car after its jump now what happens this man jump from the car in the rightward direction with respect to car with the velocity u and here we need to calculate the velocity of the car after the jump okay so let us analyze the situation this is the car and man if we take car plus man as system we find there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction why because there is no friction between the railroad car and track that means no external force acting on the system our system of the man and car in the horizontal direction but there is friction between the car and man but it is a internal force and we know these internal force does not interfere with the conservation of linear momentum principle okay now let us assume the velocity of the car just after jumping is v and it should be in the leftward direction right why leftward direction because initially system is at rest and man is getting linear momentum in the rightward direction and initial linear momentum of the system is zero for making linear momentum of the system zero car has to move in the leftward direction so let us assume this velocity is v the velocity of the recoil of the car is v now we need to calculate the velocity of the man with respect to ground because in conservation of linear momentum principle we should have the velocity with respect to ground so now we can write the velocity of the man with respect to ground this is equal to velocity of the man with respect to car plus velocity of the car right let us assume rightward direction is positive direction and this velocity velocity of the man with respect to car is in the rightward direction and this is having magnitude to u so this is equal to u and velocity of the car in the leftward direction so the velocity of the man should be equal to u minus v okay and as we discussed no external force act in the horizontal direction so we are going to conserve the linear momentum of the system in the horizontal direction okay now we know the system initially at rest if system initially at rest that means p initial that the initial linear momentum of the system equal to zero that is p initial equal to zero right and according to linear momentum conservation principle the linear momentum of the system just after jump should also be zero so let us write the final linear momentum of the system and man is jumping the rightward direction this is the positive direction so linear momentum of the man should be equal to small m multiplied by u minus v and linear momentum of this car equal to minus m multiplied by capital v and this should be equal to zero okay now we can calculate the value small v we can rearrange this equation and this value small v equal to m u divided by small m plus capital m we can observe we have solved the similar nature problem in beginning of the discussion we can find this velocity that is the velocity of the recoil of the railroad car is same as the velocity of the plank when men walk on the plank why because same nature of the forces are acting on in the system okay and in that case also there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction in this case also there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction that's why the cases are same now let us move to next illustration in this illustration we are given 
ए रेल रोड कार ऑफ मास कैपिटल हेम विद ए मैन ऑफ मास स्मॉल हेम इज मूविंग विद ए वेलॉसिटी वी वन विदाउट फ्रिक्शन द मैन जम्प इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मोशन ऑफ द कार विद ए वेलॉसिटी यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कार फाइंड द फाइनल वेलॉसिटीज ऑफ द मैन एंड दैट ऑफ द कार आफ्टर जम्प ओके यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हेयर इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज ए रेल रोड कार ऑफ मास कैपिटल एम दिस कार कैन स्लाइड ऑन दिस रेल्स विदाउट फ्रिक्शन एंड इनिशियली मैन एज वेल एज रेल रोड कार बोथ आर मूविंग विद कॉमन वेलॉसिटी दिस इज इक्वल टू वी वन देन वॉट हैपन्स दिस मैन जम्प फ्रॉम दिस साइड इन द डायरेक्शन द मोशन ऑफ द कार विद द स्पीड यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस रेल रोड कार एंड हेयर इन दिस केस वी नीड टू फाइंड द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द मैन एज वेल एज कार रेल रोड कार जस्ट आफ्टर जम्पिंग ओके सो दिस इज द सिचुएशन सो लेट अस मेक द सिचुएशन जस्ट बिफोर जम्पिंग वेन कार एज वेल एज मैन बोथ आर मूविंग विद द कॉमन वेलॉसिटी वी वन एंड दिस इज द सिचुएशन जस्ट आफ्टर जम्पिंग मैन जम्प फ्रॉम दिस एंड विद द वेलॉसिटी यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कार वाइल डूइंग सो द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द रेल रोड कार विल चेंज ओके लेट अस कंसिडर द वेलॉसिटी द मैन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड इज वी मैन एंड वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द रेल रोड कार विद चेंज फ्रॉम वी वन टू वी टू लेट अस एज्यूम द डायरेक्शन रिमेन सेम इन द राइट वर्ल्ड डायरेक्शन ओके सो हियर वी एज्यूम द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द कार जस्ट आफ्टर जंपिंग ऑफ द मैन इज वी टू now if we consider man and rail road car as a system we find there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction because there is no friction between the rail road car and rails okay but there is friction between the man and rail road car but this friction is internal of nature that means it will not make any effect in the conservation of linear momentum of the system okay so let us find the velocity of the man with respect to ground because for conserving the linear momentum we need velocities with respect to ground so let us write the velocity of the man with respect to ground we can write the vector equation we can write velocity of the man equal to velocity of the man with respect to car plus velocity of the car right and let us assume right wall direction is positive direction so we can write velocity of the man with respect to car as u and velocity of the car at this time is v2 that means velocity of the man should be equal to u plus v2 okay now let us conserve the linear momentum initial linear momentum of the system is capital m plus small m multiplied by v1 and final linear momentum include the linear momentum of this rail road car that is equal to capital m multiplied by v2 plus linear momentum of the man that is equal to small m multiplied by this value u plus v2 so let us apply conservation of linear momentum right now we can rearrange this equation to get the value of v2 v2 is the velocity of the rail road car just after jumping this is the velocity of the rail road car if you calculate you will find this value for calculating the velocity of the man you need to add v2 with u so velocity of the man this velocity is with respect to ground this is equal to u plus v2 v2 is this value if we substitute the v2 value here and calculate we will find the velocity of the man should be equal to capital m plus small m v1 plus capital m u divided by capital m plus small m so these are the velocities of the man and car just after jumping now let us move to next illustration in this illustration it is given two identical buggies each of mass capital m moves one after due inertia due to inertia without friction with the same velocity v not a man of mass small m rides on rear buggy you can observe here in this figure these are the two buggies 
this is the front buggy this is the rear buggy both are having the same mass and man is riding on the rear buggy man mass is small m and both are moving with the same velocity v0 and v0 in the rightward direction at certain moment the man jump into the front buggy with the velocity u relative to this buggy that means at certain time this man jump to this front buggy with the velocity u with respect to the rear buggy here we need to find the velocity with which the buggy will move after that we need to find the final velocities of the rear buggy and front buggy you can observe here after the process this man will be on the front buggy so here we need to find the velocity that is a common velocity the and man and front buggy and velocity of the rear buggy so first of all let us analyze the rear buggy this is the rear buggy and this is the situation just before jumping at this time man of mass is small n and this railroad car both are moving with the common velocity and there is no friction between the rails and railroad car that means we find there is no external force acting on the system in the horizontal direction that means the linear momentum of the system in the horizontal direction is conserved just before jumping and also just after jumping okay so let us assume the velocity of the rear buggy just after jumping is vr vr is the velocity of the rear buggy just after jumping so we need to calculate the velocity of the man just after jumping jumping from the rear buggy this velocity should be velocity with respect to ground so let us calculate the velocity of the man with respect to ground and we know this equation velocity of the man equal to velocity of the man with respect to buggy plus velocity of the buggy and here we are analyzing the rear buggy only and let us consider rightward direction as a positive direction right this is the positive direction so we can write velocity of the man as u this is the velocity with respect to buggy plus velocity of the buggy that is vr so velocity of the man should be equal to u plus vr okay as we discuss we can conserve the linear momentum of the system just before and just after jumping so initial linear momentum of the system of man and buggy should be equal to capital m plus a small m multiplied by v not okay now come to the final linear momentum system is same that is a man and buggy rear buggy the linear momentum of the buggy just after jumping should be equal to capital m multiplied by vr plus a small m multiplied by v man and v man equal to u plus vr so this is the final linear momentum initial linear momentum and final linear momentum both should be equal so let us equate these two values and if we solve this equation we can find the value of the vr vr is the velocity of the rear buggy and this is equal to vr equal to v not minus m u divided by capital m plus small m this is the velocity of the rear buggy just after jumping as we know there is no friction between the rails and railroad car that means the velocity of the rear buggy will be constant always and that is equal to v not minus mu divided by capital m plus small m now let us consider front buggy this is the front buggy just before landing now what will happen man after getting this velocity will land into this front buggy at that time front buggy is moving with the velocity v not that means if we take man and front buggy as a system we find here also there is no external force acting on the system right and here we are considering man and front buggy as a system so this is the scenario or situation just after landing and just after landing this man and this buggy both will move with a common velocity and let us assume this common velocity is vf okay and let us consider this direction as a positive direction now we are taking our system there's man and front buggy and conserving the linear momentum in the horizontal direction the initial linear momentum of the system is equal to capital m 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वी नॉट प्लस स्मॉल एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई यू प्लस वी आर एंड फाइनल लीनियर मोमेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम शुड बी इक्वल टू कैपिटल एम प्लस स्मॉल एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वी एफ एंड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी आर वी आर वैल्यू इज वी नॉट माइनस एम यू डिवाइडेड बाई कैपिटल एम प्लस स्मॉल एम सो हियर वी कैन सेप्टीट्यूड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी आर राइट दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वी आर नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन फाइंड द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द फ्रंट बग्गी इफ वी सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वी विल फाइंड वेलॉसिटी ऑफ फ्रंट बग्गी इक्वल टू वी नॉट प्लस एम कैपिटल एम स्मॉल एम यू डिवाइडेड बाई कैपिटल एम प्लस स्मॉल एम होल स्क्वायर 